Hey there, everybody. Um, I have already tried to record this video once, so I'm going to try one more time. I'm not going to give up. Um, I wanted to send you this video today to explain a new resource that I have added to our Google Classroom. And I figured it would be easier to share it with you this way than to try to type it out. So hopefully this will record, this will convert, and I can share it with you. Here it goes. So the resource that I've added is a site called MobyMax. Um, I have I'm giving you the link before, but this time I have actually put the link inside of our Google Classroom so it's easily accessible. There are two main reasons why I chose this program and why I think it is a good fit for the students in 303. Um, first of all, uh, it is a great resource in terms of working at your child's pace, which is um, seems to be kind of a problem right now. There's a lot of kids just kind of rushing through assignments or just kind of giving like halfway effort. And then the other really cool feature that it allows me to do is to actually assign kids certain topics and certain activities, um, which I plan to do based on either the content we're going through that week or individual like needs or ways that I wanna have kids practice or be pushed. So um, two great reasons. Um, and lastly, I'm able to kind of set up little assessments in there, which is super helpful for me as well, just to know that, that the kiddos are understanding what it is we're working on each week. Um, you'll notice inside of our Google Classroom, I had um, kind of been messing around with another assessment tool, and I'm just going to pull that out because I think that it's easier just to kind of streamline everything together. So I want to show you this resource. I'm going to share my screen with you. Um, I'm going to go into our Google Classroom, and it's right at the very top. It says Moby Max Sign In. You just open it up, click on it, the link, and all of the students' names should be inside of here. Um, when they first go to set up their account, they are going to pick two um, unique pictures and that will be their password every single time. Um, I put my own kids in here um, and you'll see a couple of other names in here where some of my past students have been entered as well. Um, early on in the whole shutdown, a lot of kids were kind of scrambling for stuff to do. So that's why they're there. So I'm gonna pick on Ella and I'm gonna pick on her two pictures and it's gonna open up. And um, the first screen it comes to um, is her assignments. And I just kind of want to show you this top toolbar. So the books, the book icon shows all of the different areas that kids can explore on Moby Max. The main content areas of math, reading, and science have placement tests. And so uh, I would encourage um, the kids to do each one of these because what will happen is the program will be able to um, sort of detect and infer which areas kids need um, practice in and which areas they've already mastered. So when they do work on their own, it will guide them in that direction. But the one thing I really want everybody to look at is this one right here with the number seven. This is where you will find assignments that I have given your child. And so they can look here. And in this case, I have added things that we've been working on um, in class. So for example, if they picked personal pronouns, it would go to an assignment all about pronouns where they could continue to practice the skill that we've been working on. So they just click the green arrow and it literally shows them an instructional video. It show, and then it goes into um, an assignment. So I like to play. So we're clicking on it of a noun. It's the a pronoun I takes the place. So anyways, it'll tell them if they got it right and if they didn't, um, it'll give them some instruction. Another cool feature on here where it's the balloons. So every time they meet um, a goal or a standard or work, they can earn points. And I know that that can be really um, engaging for a lot of kids. So here in this part where it says, look what you can earn, they can earn badges and um, meet different goals and things like that. So that's kind of a fun thing to work toward. But I wanted you to know that this um, tool is inside the Google Classroom. And I do think that um, a lot of times I get questions like, well, how much time? If it were me, I would say maybe like 20 minutes in the morning, 20 minutes in the afternoon, and maybe like a balance, right? Like pick one of Miss P's assignments and then you can do one on your own. So, or make doing something on your own an, a reward for doing classwork something like that, right? But um, you can rest easy knowing that these things are, you know, assigned to them and working at their own rate and their own level. So that's, that's there for you. Um, like I said, I think it's a really good tool. And I think it's a way to kind of push kids um, thinking a little bit more. And hopefully it'll give you all a little bit more time 
if you're trying to get work done at home as well. Um, I just kind of wanted to see if, there it is, there's our classroom. So I wanted to go back and just share one more thing about our, our classroom. Um, I wanna make sure everybody knows the tabs that are available in here. I kind of add stuff and then I don't tell you, so ha, huh, sorry. Uh, I just wanna show you. So uh, my read alouds have their own tab now. Um, the daily work, I think everybody knows how to access that. Uh, the small group materials are inside of here. So depending on which day of the week your kiddo has their small group, those materials are available. Um, I did want to point out the submit work for feedback. Each week I give a spot for you to be able to do that. Um, thank you so much. It really helps me understand like how your kiddos are doing at home. So you just take a picture. Uh, you can even make a recording. I love hearing the kids read. Uh, you can attach a file, whatever works for you. Um, and remember, it just goes straight to me. I can give private comments and send it back to you and your kids. So um, it's a nice um, system. And then if you ever lose our links to the Zoom calls, they're right here. And then I also wanted to point out this uh, folder. Uh, I've been trying to add, you know, challenge assignments um, based on the lessons that I'm already teaching during the day. So for example, uh, you know, we've already done balancing. We've done a little bit of algebra this week. So if the kids really got into that and they wanted some challenge, they could come in here and, and do more lessons on that. I just kind of went a little bit deeper. So those, those um, tools are available. I also wanted to point out that if you have not signed up for a parent conference and you um, change your mind and you would really like one, or maybe these times didn't work for you, but you would still like to chat, please reach out to me and I'm happy to do that. So that's it, Moby Max, try it out. I think the kids are really gonna like it. And um, I look forward to seeing how it can work as a tool and um, you know, to be pushing the kids to, to continue working. Everyone's doing such a great job and I'm just um, so grateful and thankful to all of you for, for everything that you're doing to support your kids at home. I know it's kind of, we're getting in the, the dredges of stuff right now. So hopefully this will um, perk everything up and um, give the kids something new to, to look forward to. So. Thanks for watching and see you on Zoom.